Cancer, hi. So this is going to be a reading for November 4th through the 10th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with uh, a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings. So they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Cancer. What do we got? <coughs> The overall energy for the reading, the Queen of Swords. Um, there's a lot of mental clarity for you at play here in terms of whatever that whatever it is I'm seeing here and um, in terms of energies and everything that's playing out for you, you almost look like you know every step of this um, as it unfolds. So in the recent past, the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, the Hermit, uh, this is you opening up to a certain healing experience, uh, baby steps there in the way you're kind of charging at it. It, it feels good. It feels like you're, you're taking on a certain path and you're kind of wandering on that path, quite curious, quite, you know, open and kind of like, okay, let's see what happens. You know, if I take this path here, a uh, very healing path. So I don't know what that is exactly, but it looks good especially as it begins, it feels good to you. Um, in the current situation, the Nine of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, you're working on it still. There's a whole lot accomplished up until from there to here. Like I see this massive growth when it comes to you. And it's continuous. You keep on working on it. But you've reached a place in which you feel very secure within yourself. You feel like, oh my God, yeah, this is this is right. You know, so you're still kind of ongoing here. Um, in the immediate future, the Eight of Cups, the Four, no, not the Four, the Five of Pentacles, the King of Wands. Um, there's a little bit of disconnection from someone here, emotional disconnection. Um, I don't see it being as a separation, like a... a, a split up or a, it's almost like a more like distance so it could be that someone is going far away for a little bit or something uh i don't know i don't know but someone really close to you there for sure but uh let's see let's clarify let me do the queen a of swords no chewing on the chair please you've gone past the chewing stage haven't you? Oh my god, those eyes. Such a manipulator. Okay, yeah, put your chin on the chair. Don't chew it. Uh, for the Queen of Swords, you get the Four of Wands, the Temperance card, the Knight of Cups. There is a connection here. There is a commitment. There's a lot of love tied up to this commitment. There's a lot of time tied up to this commitment. And not, not in the way of, oh yeah, we've been together for 50 years. Yeah, that too, but it's not about that. It's about the growth that you've gone through. It seems to have affected the situation as well in a positive way, in a good way. There's a lot of love coming through from this. And this is you recognizing that. The impact that your own journey had, especially on this connection. Um, for the Page of Pentacles, you get the Eight of Pentacles, the... High Priestess, the Nine of Wands. Uh, you're working a lot on trusting your intuition, especially as you begin this journey. Trusting your intuition more, because I feel like there was a little bit of lack in that department. But I see you very determined to to go in that direction of let me let me practice, you know, let me practice um, trusting my intuition here, trusting myself. Okay. Page of Swords, you get the Queen of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Swords. My God, I don't know what this is for you. It's very healing, though, because it takes you, it lifts you up, and then it drops you right back to the ground, you know, facing the dirt and all in terms of, you know, how the journey felt for you. 
uh, very up and down very, and very extreme. Like it blasts you open from your heart and then it kind of tears you apart, this healing experience. Um, and as you enter it, you're not even necessarily going to see this coming. <laughs> you know, this is one of those things where you enter a, a healing experience and it, when you're there in the middle of it, it's like, my God, if I knew what this was going to bring, I wouldn't have come here. I think we would have still, you know, I think we like to say that, but I think we would have still probably taken that step. Uh, for the Hermit, you get the Three of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, the Two of Wands. There's uh, the energy of partnership is there from the get go, too. It's not necessarily attached to a specific partnership. It's more of maybe there's collaborations at play. Maybe there's friendships along the way, you know, through this. It's It's been there all along, the energy of partnership. It's kind of like trying to figure out what partnership is right as you go along for you. Um, okay. For the Nine of Pentacles, in the current situation, you get the Four of Pentacles, the Death card, the Page of Pentacles. There's a mini, mini death process that you are going through. Mini, because you're giving me a sense of, I got this, you know? Uh, like, I've gone through bigger death processes before. Uh, so there's a little part of you that's probably shedding right now, you know? And you're 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 in there with that you're looking better and better as as these little parts kind of uh fly off here um for the seven of pentacles in the current situation you get the three of swords the moon the queen of swords that's the mothership to your healing Ooh, there's a very painful wound somewhere in there at the core of all of this healing. Uh, and you know, you know, I don't think you know what it is exactly. You might, you might. I don't, but you might. But it's very painful and it's, a, it's, it's at the core of this healing. That's the reason that you entered this healing for, even though initially you may not have known. Uh, but you've gotten to this at some point during your healing. Um, you're working on it. Again, I can't tell what it is. I have no idea quite yet. I don't know if it's intentional that it's shown up like that for me, where it's like <laughs> access denied, and it's like, oh, okay. But I see you behind that um, with this queen of swords almost like oh so you know i don't know but you know what this pain is okay good because you're you're working on it uh let's do the four of swords in the current situation the eight of wands the six of pentacles the ten of cups you're definitely entering a space in which you're only opening up your energy to other energies that are a perfect match to you at this time so anything that resonates for you you're super open to it anything that has the smallest little you don't resonate out it goes like there's no even there's there's not even a question about it there's not even eh, maybe it resonates you know maybe maybe there's a little bit of something that doesn't resonate but maybe there's something that no 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 you're not even gonna go there you're gonna be like no nope. Nope, from the get-go. So that's where you're at at this moment in time. There's a lot of healing here. You're like hermit mode big time. Um, okay. Let me see the Eight of Cups. The Five of Swords, the King of Wands, the Six of Cups. Well, this is starting to get quite interesting. Because you're showing me that you're very much disconnected from an energy that's super important to you. It could be a significant other kind of type of thing. But you're showing me that you're disconnected from that. 
and then you're kind of seeing it as they're disconnected from me. Well, I don't know about that. I'm seeing you being a little bit. Okay. Uh, let's do the five of pentacles. The four of swords, the ten of wands, the tower. It's supposed to show up like that because this is revealing something bigger, like a fear that's shown up here. So whoever this is, is the closest person to your heart. And as you're feeling that they may be disconnected from you, where in fact you are, because you're a, a big fear is trying to come to the surface for you. So to me, it makes sense that you're shown up as feeling like someone is disconnecting from you because actually you are disconnecting from your heart because of this fear that's trying to kind of um, come to the surface here. And this fear might be fear of abandonment. And it's big. And it's coming to the surface. And when it gets there to the surface, you'll know. It'll like it, it'll come with the party. Let's just put it that way. Uh, it may hit you like a train out of nowhere. Like what the fuck just happened? But you'll know that it's there. It's not going to be quiet. It's not going to sneak in. Usually it sneaks in. This one, no. It'll... Yeah, it's one of those mic drop situations. Fear is here. Mic drop. You know, with a big ass party and then mic drop. Um, but you'll know. And you'll be ready for it. Why do you think this healing experience is here to help you deal with this? This might be tied up to the mothership here of the pain that you're working on. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it starts to, to come to the surface based on you doing the work internally on that. And it's tied up to whoever this is in this commitment that you have so close to your heart now. Um, for the king of wands in the immediate future, you get the hermit, the fool, the star. Um, interesting because you're pulling out quite the um, beneficial and secret weapon to dealing with this fear. This fear is trying to keep you separated from what's important to you, basically. And then as you deal with it, when it comes and it does that whole mic drop shit, um, you're kind of showing this fear that you've got your own secret tools too, where you're starting to really focus um on what's keeping you connected to whoever this is to you you know um there's a depth there's something at a very deep level that keeps the two of you connected i would say it's love probably you know but it's it goes a little deeper than just the surface there which is that's where this fear is trying to kind of create commotion on the surface and you're like i got you fear you know, I got you. Yeah, you can come here with parties. You can come here with mic drops. You're not going to scare me. Initially, it does. It kind of gets you because you're like, oh, they're, hmm, I feel them disconnected from me when in fact it's you that's disconnected from yourself. And then this fear is showing up telling you what that disconnection is truly. And then you have your own weapons. And I, again, I'm not surprised. There's so much healing here. Pfft. You've acquired a lot of weapons to fight off this fear. Uh, let's see what the universe has. The Nine of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, the Five of Wands. Interestingly enough, it goes back to yourself and trusting yourself. Um, you're kind of arguing with yourself here. About, I, I'm assuming it's tied up to this fear coming to the surface maybe you're in this place where it's not here yet the party ain't here yet um and maybe you're in this place of mm, who's you know that they're it feels like they're so cold and they're so this and they're so that and meanwhile you're going through quite the struggle here against yourself so that's why i'm saying this is not them being disconnected dis disconnected from you this is you being disconnected from yourself and that's where you leave room for you to kind of go against yourself there. 
But then when this fear shows up, it's going to clarify all of that. So, okay. Anyways, uh, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.